Okay, here's a few trip or a few tips on how to uh, check the alignment on an item. Uh, if you're not sure if the text is going to engrave in the area that you uh, anticipate it's going to engrave, uh, so what we're going to do, I just brought up this pen file here, and I'm going to zoom in on the pen. Uh, what you can do, uh, let's say you want to check the name, uh, make sure it's centered between the end of the pen and the middle of the pen. Just click on the name, actually, just that part of it. Hit run, hit your laser button, and then uh, hit run. Uh, turn the light on, the red light on your laser machine, and then watch it. It's going to go back and forth um, where Sarah Bluth would be engraved. Uh, the light is actually gonna, going to extend just a little bit um, before and after the text. Uh, so if you want to get a, a more precise reading of where that uh, engraving is going to take place, uh, I've got two more uh, tips for you. The first is to click on your geometric shapes, click on rectangle, and then draw a rectangle over the name. And we'll zoom in on it really close here to make sure. but. Um, we're going to uh, change the color of that rectangle. Uh, you can see it's selected right now. There's uh, red dots or red um, squares around it. Click on your laser colors. And then to change it to the color red, we're going to click on the red button there. And that changes it to the color red. Um, re we want to set red up to vector. So I'm going to make sure it doesn't have a fill, no outline, and that it uh, is selected to vector. So if you look at this uh, column heading, it's called vector mode. Um, you can see up on the screen that it's just a red outline. Uh, let me use my selection mode tool here to adjust the um, edges so that it matches the text perfectly. And there we go. Okay, so it, it perfectly matches the top edge of the text, the right edge, the left edge, the bottom. Um, with that box selected, I'm going to hit the laser button and we're going to take a look at the uh, row that is the color red. You can see the power is set here in this case set to 20%. That doesn't matter. We're, we're going to turn the we're going to have the red light on and just watch where it, where it's going to engrave. So we're not worried about the power. But the speed, you can adjust the speed. Uh, this is set to 20%. It's a very small piece, so I think that's fine. And then you could set it to uh, run, you know, two, three, four times over. If that uh, helps you determine where it's going to engrave, uh, that works. Just hit the run button then, listen for the beep, and then go to your machine and make sure the red light is on, and then run it. Uh, the red light will then follow this uh, path, this rectangle. And if that red light looks centered, then you're good to go. Okay, another thing that you can do, let me delete that uh, box. I hit the delete button to delete it, is in a very small space, um, I, I might use this, you know, maybe on a keychain or something like that. If you just simply want to make sure that that text is going to fit into a space, you can actually select the text itself. So you can see I've got Sarah Bluth selected. And then click on the color red to change it to red. You can see it's now an outline. And then when you hit the laser button, uh, the, the red light will follow the outline of the letters. Um, so that laser light will follow the outline of each individual letter. It, it's not the quickest way to find out if something is uh, centered right and left, up and down, but uh, if you are uncertain if it's going to fit into a particular space, this is a, a good way to go. Now, before you actually run the item and actually turn the laser on, make sure you, turn, you uh, select the text and then click the black button there to turn it back to black. Uh, additionally, if you had drawn a box around the item, excuse me, if you had drawn a box around the item, do make sure that you delete that box before you engrave it. Otherwise, you're going to be engraving the box as well. If you're not sure and you just want to make, you want to triple check that you're not engraving something that you don't intend to grave, engrave, zoom all the way back out, and then down at the bottom of your screen, there's a little check box. If you um, take off that little check mark, you're only going to see what layer you're on. And in this case, I'm on layer one, and it just has the text there. And that's, of course, all that I would want to engrave on the pen. So hit run, hit go, um, and you're set to, to go. Thank you.